you murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean. No. <laughs> It says it's gonna do full damage, but it doesn't. That's weird. Oh, I wanted some water. I'm not gonna take the guns because I don't have them. Don't have room. Uh, where was that thing? There it is. Oh, another one. Oh, serious? Damn. What's this? Alright, there's no one in here. I don't have time. Just freaking. doesn't look that homely. What's that noise? Ah. Uh, I don't think we need to go in there either. You got guts and determination. That's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't... <sighs> Sense controller. This is not good. Shit, to be honest. <laughs> um, I might sleep. Ah, oh, damn it. That's the toilet. Ah, oh, alright, sure. Fuck. I reckon there. Oh! <laughs> Sweet. That was the most absurd thing. I saw you. Bang! I love the slow mo. Another one. Jeez, this guy is decked out. Bang! I look so weird. Up ahead. 
I sense you're standing down. Ooh. Let's talk. How do I? Oh, cool. This is it. It's definitely a trap. There definitely. The most resilient man in the Commonwealth. Funny. I thought I had that honor. You murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean. Now. Right to it then, huh? Okay. Fine. Your son Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, it ain't gonna happen, pal. Your boy's not here. Then you're gonna take me to him. Right now. Take you to him. <laughs> like I could, even if I wanted to. Don't you get it? Your son, he's in a place nobody can reach. Sean's safe at home. In the Institute. The Institute? So where is it, huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. Uh. So, you ready? You know I am, Kellogg. Movement to combat. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Going straight for the jugular. Come on. Yeah. Let's get out. Oh, actually, no. Whatever. Damn it. on a critical hit. Eh, not the best, but I'll take it. All right, we're done here, I think. What else do we need to do? Search for more information. All right. So I guess we can use this terminal now. He's got a nice fancy one too. The 
boy, Sean, successfully delivered back to the Institute payment, received new orders to track down Renegade, gathered reinforcements, cleared out, and secured Fort Hagen. We move out soon. Opening doors. Alright, I think it's done. Sweet. Hey, Valentine. So, Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. <laughs> All right. There has to be a way, Nick. <sighs> Freaking We're huge. in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, a reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. All right. That makes sense. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever. Discuss my findings with Piper. You are damaging valuable Institute property. Yeah. About that. Alright, so I gotta freaking get out of here. That's not the way. This is not the way out. I thought it was. Bitch, 
sneak attack. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Now can I travel? Yeah. Alright, Piper. You're not busy. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. <laughs> you, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. Who's that guy in the back? Um. Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Um. He's kind of dead. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. But we took yeah, his brain chip. I knew he wasn't going to go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Um. Uh, yeah, so what now? So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Hmm. That's insane. There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. We get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari. Then we see if she's got the goods to pull this Jeez. off. Okay. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. All right. What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. We got that. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get it jump started. See what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Alright. Yeah, I'll come you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Yeah. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Alright, sweet. I think I'm gonna end that episode there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Damn, that was one heck of a mission. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Someone there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright. Probably not the best idea. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at this guy. The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. <laughs>